do you want? Uh, Samia says, my brother married a non-Muslim in court and not a nikah. He is no more. He passed away a few years back. I continued to keep contact with his wife and young daughter with the sole intention of da'wah and still pray to Allah to guide them to Islam. My question is, do I have any relation with his daughter with Islamic perspective? Well, this is something we cannot answer unless we know the background and the circumstances. Generally speaking, any marriage that takes place without the Islamic procedure is not a valid marriage. So the valid marriage has to have what is known as ijab and qubul, proposal and acceptance. And it has to have a guardian and it has to have two Muslim witnesses. Having read your question, Samia, it seems that your brother married this woman only as a legal or civil marriage. So there was no proper nikah, meaning that her father, who's the guardian, did not propose and say, I give you my daughter in marriage. And there were no two witnesses as well, Muslim witnesses, which makes the marriage invalid. Now, having said that, if your brother thought that this was a legitimate marriage and he had zero knowledge of what nikah was, some people don't know, they're so ignorant that they don't know what's the ruling. So let's assume that this woman was a Christian or a Jew. And he married her thinking that a civil marriage would be an Islamic marriage because nikah should only be with Muslim women. But due to the fact that she's not a Muslim, she's a Jew or a Christian, then he thought that this was valid. In this case, this marriage is not valid, but the girl whom he accepted as his own child and gave her her name gave her his name this marriage would be considered to be what shubha which means intercourse in doubt meaning that he thought that she was his legitimate wife and hence the daughter is his daughter uh, and if he were alive we would have asked him to rectify his mistake by marrying in an Islamic marriage. But due to the fact that he is deceased and um, he cannot rectify this anymore, I believe, inshallah, that she is his daughter and she is your niece. You can deal with her in such a fashion. But if the woman was not a Jew or a Christian, if she was a Hindu or an atheist, clearly declaring that she's not any of the three religions, Islam, Judaism, or Christianity. In this case, this girl was born out of wedlock and she has nothing to do with you or your family.